So hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 253 and in this video I want to talk about a side topic which is AI, artificial intelligence. And the reason for that is uh, AI becomes very popular and AI will be in every digital technology, every digital sector which is on the internet and it is influencing also uh, for example, C++, our education, and we will check if we can use it for our advantage. And for this purpose, I have downloaded here ChatGPT, but there are many, many other AI tools nowadays also available. You can check them all and uh, try them. I use ChatGPT only because, uh, because it's right now free and for demonstration purposes and uh, what we will test, or let's say, so what I want to test is to integrate AI as a helper tool in our C++ um, beginner tutorial. And what I mean with that is, can ChatGPT, for example, help us um, to understand the code better, more, uh, yeah, more for the beginners for example if you have any question here for example let's say you forgot uh, how to create a class then you can go to chat gpt um, and you can see i have already here uh, log in in chat gpt it looks like this one here is a message um, place and then here you write your question and then uh, let's see let's see and test it. For example, I write here C++, uh, yeah, C++ uh, create a class example. And for example, because I just forget how to create a class. And let's see what ChatGPT gives. And then you can see ChatGPT make here one example. Of course, you can ask for more details, for example, show more details or rewrite it or something like that. I'm not going to read now all this kind of stuff because that would take too much time. I want to just see if this is now helping me because I already know a class, like we have talked about class. And now let's see if this example, provided example, helps me to re-remember how to create a class. And let's see here. First of all, this example here uh, is using a namespace that's most time not good in our tutorial because I said using namespace you should uh, use normally all time this STD but whatever that's not the important but, uh, for that I have not asked and so ChatGPT never did this but what I asked is how to create this class here okay we see it's creating a class rectangle then we see here it's uh, using the other format here with this open file. We're using all time this one here. And then it's creating here a private um, section. That's uh, our access specifier. Then we have here our public section. And then we have our constructor with a comment. That's good. And then we have here a member function to uh, calculate area, for example. That's a function. So this. And then it shows us also, for example, how to call this specially uh, objects, uh, create an object here. You can see here we use the class name as our type rectangle. And then it makes here a very bad naming example. We know in real uh, coding, use all time descriptive names, never something like that. Okay, but you still see, yes, it is creating for us fast a class and so as a beginner that can be very helpful or you can say okay let's ask something else very fast to remember uh, uh, create a derivative class for example create a derivative class for example, like this, let's see what ChatGPT is doing. And I skip again all the explanation in this one you can read too. But I want just see if ChatGPT is providing anything else what can help me to remember things what I learned and perhaps are not present right now uh, in my head. <laughs> and you can see again here it's a base class. Here is uh, 
again a base class and here are things what we have not learned so far this virtual functions we will learn this in our coming videos because we are talking about function calls in the root classes and this one is a special function uh, with this virtual keyword careful this virtual is not the same virtual what we learned in inheritance at the inheritance specifier here that we will learn in our next video probably but here again, we have here a fast uh, class. It creates a derivative class. Here is our derivative um, inheritance. And yeah, and then here on the bottom again, it creates here an example this time with a pointer and then pointer, arrive, uh, pointer assignment and here pointer call, function call. And of course, we have here a little bit more things. So the point about this kind um, of uh, using the AI, you can see, is just to see if ChatGPT can help us to replace, for example, uh, the search engine. For example, normally when I um, look up for this kind of stuff, I would just use, for example, in my case, Google and then going there and uh, choosing one of the options which is available and yeah and the reason to test this at all is because like i said uh, ai comes in every sector and we have to learn it even if we like it or don't like it uh, because i think ai will be um, yeah is uh, has a big influence in tech in general you can see ai nowadays in every sector i think in speech in uh, films uh, games uh, music yes every sector and we as a programmer we have to test it at least uh, you have not to use it but um in my case like i mentioned at the start we test it and see it if this is useful for us or uh, it is useful can we can we have a benefit about it and that's all about this video actually and one more thing perhaps i know uh, on the internet there is a big discussion that ai could be dangerous um that's true for example i can even ask the ai here is ai is ai dangerous dangerous and show me the risks something like that and then you can read this i'm not going to read this all again but you can see here is a list of dangerous aspects of an ai uh, this is more or less what uh, is also discussed on the internet here's just a little list you can ask for more risk for example later but you can see here ai can be misused oh, of course uh, you can use uh, misuse every tool like anything else you can misuse a knife too for example in, instead of using a, a kitchen knife to uh, to cut up bread you can of course wrong use a kitchen knife too to kill people right so it's all time um, yeah it's all time the misuse of a tool which can cause dangerous things and in this case here you can see you can of course misuse an ai as well for example, we have here to target uh, discrimination on the internet. You can use a bot, an AI bot, who is doing that for you and manipulating people and targeting people. Of course, that's bad thing. Or this one is big, job loss. Many people are afraid about this one uh, because they say, can AI replace our jobs for example also our programmer jobs because programming is more or less just mm, uh, a thing which an ai can do as well if it's trained we will ask this uh, later a little bit uh, here one more <laughs> perhaps and then this sounds also very dangerous <laughs> anonymous weapons for example if an ai is equipped with a weapon then that can go wrong if the ai make a wrong decision can can really make big 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 problems if there 
is going something wrong or this uh, AI is hacked because AI is just a code later on the internet and um, uh, everything on the internet can be hacked also in AI because if it's just code, right? And then we have here private concerns. This is anyway already a problem in with the internet. And then lack of transparency. Yeah, uh, so you can see AI has very dangerous parts, but like I said, AI has also very good parts and we are trying to see uh, if the good parts can help us. And the good parts are, like I said, AI can uh, make our workflow easier. Uh, for example, can generate for us code, can generate for us information uh, uh, without L time. Um, yeah, thinking of uh, finding, uh, searching in on the internet and something like that. We are testing. I don't know what uh, how good AI will be, but the only thing what I right now know is AI will be included in our life and we have to learn it this is the best way to face it and learn it and see how it is used, how it will change life and so on. So here we can ask one more question. For example, job loss. Let's ask this one. Will AI uh, replace programmers, for example? Right. We are, we are learning programming uh, programmers. Let's see. Programmers. And then when we click this one, um, and you can see uh, the AI is more or less saying like it is possible that programmers will be replaced, but not in the near future because programmers are, let's say, can do many tasks what a programmer can do, but not all tasks, for example, the creativity and critical thinking and uh yeah there is uh things what the ai can't do in the near future but that means not it it's not possible in the far future so we have to think about this that depends on the ai development in general i think and yeah and like i said we uh I will try to include this AI in our tutorial uh, and mixing it up with research because I tell you all time, for example, when I make here examples in our tutorial that you should uh, look up a uh, good resource online. And there are many good resources, for example, other tutorial sites, our books, our official C++ books, uh, documentations and uh, Wikipedia and all the uh, sites which you know from this uh, online things, but now you can also try AIs who could help you. And there are also speech AIs, which means you don't have even to read this text. You can convert this text to speech and then just listen what AI is doing while you are typing here. That's also very interesting. For example, I could ask later um, here this question. Then I go here and continue with my work while the AI is talking and uh, explaining me all the thing what uh, all these parts here is just uh, speaking to me, which is more convenient while you can then still work here and it is explaining that. Also, we will test it. So, and I want perhaps if you like, you can test it too. If you don't like it, just don't test it. You, it's not very important. But I think, uh, but at least I want to test this and try out and give you this as a resource, uh, resource material as well, because can help. We test it. I don't know if it's helpful in the end. And the best part is this Jet GPT is free. Right now I use the free version. There is a paid version. The free version is okay so far. And so I think that's all what I have to talk about this video. This was just a side note. And yeah, I stopped this video here. If you have any questions, like all time, write it in the comment section. See you in the next video and like all time, have fun, never give up and bye.